Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of Van Gogh's paintings and turning it into a 3D camera move using Camera Mapper. Then using depth, we're going to apply a rack focus and create a 3D anaglyph image. To set up the scene, create a new camera. 50 millimeters should be all right. Click OK. Let's rename that camera, Render Camera. Duplicate that camera, and then rename that one, Projection Camera. And then drag that underneath the Render Cam. Next, create a new solid, and make it 3D. And then apply Digifex Camera Mapper. Assign the projection camera to the one you made and the projection layer to the Van Gogh painting, then turn it off. Repeat this process with as many solids as you need to recreate the scene in 3D. Make sure the edges line up as you try to recreate the geometry. Use the pen tool to cut out certain attributes to create transparency in your solids, such as for the tree and the building. Once all your layers are set up, organize them according to which ones are closer to the camera first. To test your projection, hit C to bring up the camera tool and orbit it around to see if it all looks okay. Go to the beginning of your composition and put keyframes on the point of interest and position of your camera and create a slow camera movement across your scene. With your main composition selected, go up to Composition, Pre-Compose Depth. This duplicates your original composition and creates one called Depth Comp. If you click on Depth Comp, you'll notice that the top composition is your original comp and the bottom one is a depth map. If you click on your depth map, you'll notice an object named Master Control at the top. Click on that and you'll be able to manipulate how the depth works in your composition. A greater contrast in the lights and the darks indicates a greater amount of space in between those two depths. Now your scene's ready for some lens blur. Click on your Van Gogh layer and do Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Lens Blur. Change the Depth Map layer to the Depth Map composition. And with your slider at the beginning of the comp, put a keyframe on Blur Focal Distance. Go to the end of the comp and change the value all the way to 255. And now you have a rack focus. Now to create a 3D image, duplicate your first composition and rename it Van Gogh Comp 3D. Take that and drag it under your first composition. Then with that composition selected, go up to Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. For the Displacement Map layer, choose the Depth Map composition. Change the vertical displacement to zero. Then for the horizontal and vertical displacement type, change them both to luminance. Then change the max horizontal displacement to negative seven. Take the first lens blur effect on the first comp and duplicate it onto the second comp, making sure that it's above the displacement map. Toggling the layer's visibility, you'll notice the parallax that you've just created with the displacement layer. Now take both of your layers and pre-compose them into their own self-contained layers. Then click on your first comp and go to Effect, Perspective, 3D Glasses. 
change the left view to the first one, the second view to the second one, and change it to balance colored red and blue. Mess around with the convergence offset and the balance, and you might even need to swap the left to the right, depending on how you displaced your layer. Now check out the results. 